Alive is a very extraordinary story, and I was, in a sense, fortunate but also privileged to write it because these 16 mostly young Uruguayans who had been flying to Chile, uh, uh, the plane crashed in the Andes, uh, it couldn't be seen from above, and they were given up as lost, and they couldn't move because of the snow. And they survived for 60 days and took that very, very difficult decision to, to, to stay alive. They ate the flesh of the people who had been killed in the accident. Um, and what, of course, I didn't particularly know when I, when I went out to see if I wanted to write this book and to see if they wanted me to write it, was that really their Catholic faith had a, had a very important role to play. And they really, you know, rather, I don't know if you know William Golding's The Lord of the Flies, when, 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 when these young people are in an air crash and they all turn savage and turn against one another. This was exactly the opposite. These, these young men stayed together, helped each other, and that was largely or partly to do with, with their Catholic faith. So it is, in a sense, I, I mean, again, I was absolutely honest. My duty was to the truth. I didn't fudge anything. I didn't spare the details. But the overall effect of the story is very moving, and it's, the book has been an enormous success over those 40 years. Mm -hmm.